I will say this one thing about how everyone was like, Starkle's not coming in the summer and the CW was like, she is, but wait, <laughs> there's a catch. Oh, I tell you, I'm buzzing about that. Everybody's like, the schedule doesn't make sense. I'm like, guys, it's okay. Stargirl's back in the summer by one measly death, but she's back in the <laughs> summer. Um, yeah, so I, it, it's been a Stargirl week, so I'll lead with this. They dropped the season three trailer. It was a uh, breath of fresh air. It still says coming soon, but now we know when that soon is. It will premiere on August 31st, which is a Wednesday. And uh, Joel McHale is a series regular in it this season around. So you get to see what, how Starman and Stargirl interact because he was always that recurring presence in the background that was dead, but turns out he's not dead after all. She's taken over. Now he comes back. How will that affect their dynamic? All of that pays into the trailer. It looks like it's going to be another fun, lighthearted season. And that's what Stargirl does best. So I feel like if we need that kind, if we need anything from the CW, it's fun and lightheartedness. And Stargirl has that in spades. Um, the season subtitled for enemies because they start working with their enemies for, for, uh, to fight an even greater evil. So it'll be fun. It'll be light and it'll be the superhero show we need this year because we're not getting any more until next year. Um, but yeah, the trailer was fun and that kind of paved the way nicely for the announcement of the, I say schedule, we had a schedule, but now we have dates. And it is the most strangest date. I have already led with the fact that we get Stargirl on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. starting from August 31st. But even though that's the summer, this is not a summer schedule, folks. It's a fall <laughs> schedule. And we have to wait a long time for any other shows to join it. 